Hey, welcome to my channel. I'm Lissa Grace and I've been traveling and painting. Roll the intro. Christmas day looked a little bit different than you may think. There was no white snow, which we, I do love white snow, but what we did have was a 75 degree day that we could go out and paint in, which I think was a really fun time and a great memory for our family. Um, so we went to the Euless Nature Preserve in today's episode and got to go paint amongst bees and mosquitoes and painted a little pond and it was really fun and a memory I'll remember forever. Let's get into it. So I'm at the Euless Nature Preserve today and it was a really nice day. I wore my t-shirt and shorts, it was like almost 80 degrees. It was really nice and really pretty outside. So I'm just getting set up here. I'm having, I'm using my standing easel today. Uh, I got a tripod that actually is a new setup with a panel holder or notebook holder that my dad made for me. So I'm picking a tone, which I went for a brighter color today because I saw a lot of like intense colors in this scene and I kind of wanted to bring that out using a intense tone, I guess. So I'm laying out where the water meets the grass just as a little reference for myself to kind of lay out where my scene is. There's a bee on the page also. Kind of scary, kind of cute. I was mostly scared, but I didn't bother it, so it didn't bother me. There he is, bee. So now I'm going in and trying to add some colors that are like for the reeds and the grass, which was kind of hard to get actually. I was going for a bright color and since I already had my bright tone, it was kind of hard. Now I'm adding a dark green for the water, which was mostly reflecting the um, trees rather than the sky. So I'm just continuing to block in my colors, just get a whole page full of my, like, idea. I found the camera. Hello there. <laughs> so I'm going to go in and paint where my trees are and where that is in relation to the sky and how much of the sky is going to be showing. Just a little um, outline for myself. Now I'm trying to get a sky color, which I saw kind of like a purpley gray blue, so I'm mixing that up here. And I made it pretty pigmented so I would cover up most of my orange. I also saw a pretty cloud that I decided I was just going to go right off the bat and paint. And just do like a light streak through it. <laughs> Did you see my sister roller skating through the back? Rip sticking, not roller skating. One of the challenges today was definitely mosquitoes. I did not think of bringing bug spray, and I paid for that, but it was okay. Now I'm painting the reflection of the sky that you can see in the water, just a little bit on the bottom, based off the scene I chose. Now I'm going back in and starting to add some detail. I'm going with where the water line actually is, where the grass is, or reeds, whatever that is. I'm just clarifying that line up a bit. And I saw some trees on the right side of my painting, well, right side of the pond that I was going to put on my painting. So I started off with the reflections in the water that I saw before. I put them on the, on the actual shore because sometimes I get confused and I paint my reflections totally different than actually what I painted on the surface. So I decided I wanted to paint them on the reflection first and then I could match that to what I painted on the shore. <laughs> It was kind of a helpful little um, technique I tried out that I actually really liked. It was really, really pretty and a really unique area actually with all these trees growing out of this marshy area. My dad was painting too. He picked a really pretty scene. I actually was thinking about painting the scene, but I didn't end up choosing it. His painting was beautiful. He has a really unique style that I really love. And his trees just are so, so beautiful, the ones he paints. And he had a really fun time painting too. The scene was just so interesting with a little, little pond. So 
So there were a lot of like similar colors in this painting, so my goal was to kind of bring them out and make them different from each other instead of making it all kind of like blend together. So that was kind of my goal in this in this painting day and I was using like purples and oranges to really enunciate the colors, I guess. So I'm adding some contrast here with a dark shadow to go right under the reeds and as branches in the trees. It's really interesting painting reflections because I was talking about with my mom. It's different because it is all kind of toned down. So my goal today was toning down like the trees, the reeds, the sky, everything in the reflection of the water. Me and my mom were just having some fun. Hello, hello. <laughs> At this point, the sun was kind of starting to set, which was really pretty to watch, and I wasn't too stressed about getting it done. It was going at a good pace and was making some good progress. So I'm just using the tip of my brush to just make some small, like, thin, narrow lines to imitate the water ripples. And I'm painting just some difference of color in the trees adding some little lines to make some branches coming out of the reeds and um, I'm making sure to paint them ref in the reflection also. I've kind of been known to do that, paint something and then not paint a reflection for it, which is fine, but I was trying to make sure I didn't do that this time. Waving at my brother and sister who are walking by. Now I finally think I got the um, color of the reeds I wanted. A brighter orange kind of color. I'm going in with some like squiggles to like make some movement in the water like it's rippling around and it's kind of still day but it still has movement in the water. Just adding some darkness to it. I felt like the color wasn't quite dark enough for what I wanted. I'm just taking these little ripples into the light of the sky to be like the top of the trees. Just using the side of my brush going vertically again and like leaving some empty spaces to let the light through. I thought it was really fun and pretty. Now I'm adding some like texture to the top of the trees I painted to make it look like trees <laughs> and some little little lines going up the top to maybe look like some branches without leaves because it's pretty wintry I guess wintry is that a word I don't know I'm adding a little orange tree I like my like my fall colors in my paintings um, I thought that would be pretty there was an orange tree there it wasn't quite as orange as the one I painted but you know, as an artist, you have, uh, what is that, artistic license, right, to do what you want. So I did what I wanted, and it was pretty, it was fun. I'm adding some, like, movement for where the reeds were, a light gray color to kind of make the orange I put in there, the bright color I was trying to get, like, really important and intentional, rather than just having it everywhere, so covering up a little bit of it with some grayer tones. Finally, I'm adding some like branches into this little tree I have over in the corner of my painting. I wanted to make it look more like a tree than a green blob, so that's fun. I'm just adding a few more, a few little ripples. I think there's some fish in this pond or turtles or I don't even know but something is coming up for air and making little uh, bubbles <laughs> so or ripples so I'm just adding a few of those. I think I'm gonna add like a bird in the sky also. I saw some birds flying here earlier just a few. It's gonna kind of scary I haven't done birds in a while. I'm 
happy with that. I feel like my hand is so shaky, it's so hard to do small things like this. So I think I'm actually just about done. I actually did this one a lot faster than I have before. Um, but I think, I mean, this was a really fun place. I took my time and I'm, I'm pretty happy with what, what I have now. So yeah. Okay, so I think I'm about done. Uh, it was a faster painting, honestly, than I've done before, but I mean, I took my time and I really enjoyed doing this one. I really enjoyed um, working on color in this painting. I really enjoyed bringing out the like boldness of the orange I saw in this like reed and then bringing it back out and kind of toning it down like I was talking about with my mom uh, for this in the reflection of the water. Um, I liked bringing up like the orangish ice colors I saw in the trees back there and putting that back in the water. Oh next time I would have waited to do the sky till more like the end of the painting because the sky is a lot more blue than it was earlier and I feel like it would match with the painting better if I picked the sky at the end because you have to pick which sky you want because it's always changing. But if I pick the sky at the end rather than at the beginning, I think it would go better with my painting. All in all, today was a success. I'd say it was really fun. This looks like it's gonna be a good scene. <gasps> Whoa! Beautiful! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes, look at the bird up there too! Oh, that's so cool! Oh, I love that! So nice, look at that reflection! Really nice! Well done! I love these colors!